Lucas Media. So we got Keyshawn Davis and Shakur Stevenson got on live with Ryan Garcia. Before I go further, I want to apologize to my fans about not making boxing. This whole Ryan Garcia thing almost made me walk completely away. But I'm going to keep making boxing content because I love it. But man, this is hard. But anyway, so Keyshawn Davis and Shakur is their own line basically trying to get ryan garcia to come on so as soon as ryan gets on the first thing they start talking about is mean why you why you talking about that racist stuff bro why you talking about that racist stuff uh all you hear ryan garcia basically tell him like stand down stand down you know that's not me and i was joking and da 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 and ryan and shakur moved i mean ryan Keyshawn and shakur moved past it then they got to talking about devin haney and Keyshawn was like i don't care i know you didn't take it man f devin haney f devin haney talking about him testing positive for ice cream and shakur and her man pick me and fight me man fight me fight me I i'm 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 really about done with us honestly it's really only it ain't that many of us left each generation we keep getting worse and worse especially when it comes to to selling our selling our souls basically we're the laughing stock of we're the we're the butt of everybody jokes let's just say that i'm just keeping it real ryan can go on a racist tirade over and over again and the moment he does you have a lot of um cutting a jig you know what's coming out and supporting him man no man ryan not racist bro he just tripping man Man, Ryan's not perfect. But look what they did to Kyrie Irving. And look what they did to many other. Look what they did with Devin Haney. Talking about Lomachenko. Now, yeah, the WBC expelled Ryan Garcia, but we know that's not going to be for too long. And he got a slap on a year's a wrist with a one-year suspension. Ryan, Ryan's able to get away with whatever because he knows that we don't ever stay united. We don't. We don't stay united. We don't stay united with this. And really, boxing shows us how ununited we are because we can never stay on code. Why? Why he, the man goes in the He tells you how he feel. You know, any people say he's drunk. Don't they say a drunken soul speaks a sober mind? My bad, y'all. Yeah, a drunken soul speaks a sober mind. So he's telling you how he really feel. But I mean, but you see this with, with any situation, right? Even with the whole the Gucci thing. You remember when the hip hop people try to put a quote unquote ban on Gucci and Floyd immediately comes out, man, no, oh, man, you know, I'm, I'm buying Gucci, man, they ain't never did it to me, they ain't never did it to me, we can go all the way back to Nat Turner if we want to be, if we want to keep it real, you know, you had people that was snitching on Nat Turner when, when they was getting the thing uh, kicked off, the rebellion kicked off, you know, we could even go all the way back to, to Africa, listen, we've been selling each other out for the longest, really, and it's just sad, it's sad, and then, you know, we cry one way, but we can never stay united, and it's just, I don't know, man, I, I don't know what we gonna do, but I was, I when I seen Wiz, standing with ryan garcia that's what made me take a break i couldn't do it no more y'all i'm sorry it was just like what's the point i'm over here defending them and i got people calling me all type of names in these forums i be in but then when i defend these people they don't want to stick up nobody y'all hate y'all hate that Devin haney has a black father that's trying to speak life in his son that y'all don't care that ryan garcia was on was on performing enhancements i've never seen nothing like this because he's popular you know uh, even Tank Davis. Tank Davis goes quiet. He got everything to say, but when first, Ryan first tested positive, oh man, they trying to frame him, man. But I'm gonna fight him again at 140. But then as soon as he start go out there throwing in bombs around, he gets quiet. Everybody else gets quiet, you know. Or well off media, Deion Sanders Jr. comes out and just immediately just backs Ryan. It's that stuff. It just bothers me, man. It bothers me because it's like we 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 cry one thing, but we don't never stick together. And if the same people. If one of us does something, if one of us did exactly what Ryan did or what Dana White did or all these other people, it's like the Stephen A. Smith, all these other people, they just run us into the ground over and over again. But somebody like Josh Giddy who gets accused of something, oh, let, let's wait for all the evidence first. Can we wait for the evidence, please? So I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of it. And I even watched 78's video. I agree with him, man. As black men, man, we, we are, we probably are the weakest of all time. It's so bad. Like I said, the, the moment somebody does something, you got vermin going out there and immediately defending them. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm going on a rant right now. But hopefully my, my diehard subscribers, y'all know. It's just, you know, I'm going to keep making these boxing videos for y'all. But it's just, it's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. And a lot of times I'm just, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. This is what the world thinks of. This is why they do everything they do. Because they know you're not going to do nothing. Ryan know you're not going to do nothing. Gucci know you're not going to do nothing. All these other high-end stores, they know you're not going to do nothing. So I don't know, man. Whatever. Y'all y'all want to kiss up the Ryan, man? Go ahead, man. You know. The only person I seen really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ryan and stand his own was Champ Side. That's the only one I seen so far. He was the only one not backing down. Ryan's so used to just using his stardom to... 
to shake everybody else up man who care if he got 12 million subscribers on instagram but how many he got so what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong but i don't know whatever man i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think